if you are planning to take up a job, you are planning to apply for anything else, this skill you are going to learn today is going to be something that will speak for you, that will make an employer or make anybody you are having a conversation know that you have a hands on skill and you are not just carrying around a certificate. So today we are looking at automation. So we are automating uh, security tasks. Uh, we are using bash scripting. So what is it all about? Automation in cybersecurity is something that is very crucial, something that you can never do without. In fact, I would dare to say that you won't go far if you don't know how to do automation because most of the time we find out that the skills or the things that you are doing are being repetitive. You handle the same incidents or you're confronted with the same kind of data every day and you need to filter through them. So because of this repetitive tag, automation is very important. Uh, why automate? In cybersecurity, automation is key skill to save time, reduce errors, and streamline threat detection. So you are reducing error, you are saving time, you are streamlining threat detection by you know, carrying out automation. And in automation, Python and Bash are the two major tools that you use to carry out this automation. Whether you are on AWS, you are using uh, a Google Cloud Engine, Azure, or you are using PowerShell, most of the tools that you use, you find yourself writing bash scripts. The same thing with Python. Most of all these um, vendor agnostics or non or vendor tools, they are always integrating Python into what you do, and you need to be able to create scripts with them. So getting familiar with it, and this is one of you are going to be looking at in our one-on-one -on -one coaching session. So we are looking at a simple script, a very simple script that you can make use of. Even though you are not a technical person, you can easily go through this script and learn it and you know, get familiar with it. And of course, plus the coaching, the one-on-one -on -one coaching that you are going to sign up of if you are interested. It will help you to break down the fundamentals of Python, fundamentals of Linux, fundamentals in bash scripting that will help you in any field of uh, cybersecurity you are in. So we are going to be looking at the script that will help us to monitor a log. You know, so we already have some log files, so, which means that some files that contains records of what has been happening, of incidents and events that the system has captured. So we are going to look at logs of failed logging attempts, you know, from a particular IP address or from several IP address. This is usually common with brute force attacks. When you have a lot of brute force attacks, so the people are trying to hack into your system, but your system is capturing details of all these incidences. Every attempt is being captured with details of the IP address, the time, the kind of system. So we are going to be seeing an example of this. So we are analyzing a log script using this automation uh, scripts that we are going to develop in the next few minutes. The first thing you want to do when you create a script is you need a text editor where you write the script or code. So in this case, we are using a, a popular text editor that is common for Linux, which is Genie. It's already installed. So you want to join the coaching session during the coaching class uh, where we we are taking one-on-one -on -one students. We're going to show you how to install and set up your lab and do most of these things. So, but for now, yeah, this is the log file, alt.log. Uh, which basically talk about authentication log files, so authentication log. So this is a log of all the attempts that have been made into login. This is a, so let's see what is inside. Let's see. Um, you can see the file is a very big file. It contains a lot and lots, lots of information that you can see on the screen. It contains the date, uh, the timing. It contains the date. It contains the date contains the timing, contains the uh, the kind of access, the way the system was logged in, which is like the user agent, the uh, how it's logging, the user, you know, profile name, and a lot of information is being captured. It includes also the IP address, the port number, you know, the user name, user profile, user password. So all this information is what the system captures. So we need to check this file for the ip address that are making in this um, login attempt and see and try to discover or determine the number of times each particular ip address is trying to log into the system now I want to check how many failed attempts because the number of attempts that did not go in will suggest the number will give us an idea of the number of times that the particular ip try to log in so if for if you want to know what a brute force is a brute force is trying several times to log into a system 
trying different passwords for and for each of the password attempt there's a record of it so i want to see how many times each ip address that connected to this you know that has been connecting to the system how many times each of them try to log in and when we know how many times they log in it will suggest to us that this person is trying to force itself in so, so this is the uh, script script for printing out what is inside the log then we use the command called grep and then we are going to grab for failed. So grab for failed means that it's going to pick catch only failed attempts. And then let's see a number of failed attempts that we can see. And then let's see the first 20 failed attempts in the uh, log file. Okay, so we can see now that it's looking more cleaner now than what we have earlier on. So we can see these are the first 20 According to the log file, these are the first 20 attempts, and then we have it from different IP addresses. If you look at it, you can see this IP address is different from the second IP address, different from the third. So we are going to look at the number of attempts each of this IP address, which means that we are going to pick out only the failed attempts, and then we are going to pick out all the IP address that are carried out. So to do that, we are grabbing for the failed. And then we need to print out print out sixth column and the eleventh column. Okay, and then we're printing out for the first twenty entries alone. First twenty. So let's see. Okay, so we can see what happens here. So now. We have been able to isolate all the IP address that attempts. So within within what we have here, we can count the number of times each of these IP address that is represented, the number of times they they try to log in into the system. We now have to sort the script. We have to sort it and then count. so now we can see we've sorted it then we can we means that we can sort it again using the number we can sort the output again okay so if you look at it now we can see the first ip address here attempted only once the second attempt once, the second, the third attempt. But there is a particular one here that attempted five times. So these two that attempted five times, we can say with relative, relatively compared to this other one that attempted only really once, we can say it has made it made more attempts. So if the the, the attempts we consider to be put first is anything more than three attempts, then these two IP address are the base. We can now say mark out these two ip address and say this is at the IP, these are the ip addresses that is causing you know that is trying to break into the system so but in order for us to do this every morning we don't have to go through this long process we can just create a, a script you know that will save into the system that anytime we want to analyze any particular file we'll just put the file name into it and automatically it carries out this um analysis for us so that is the essence of scripting so text editor we are going to use to do this is uh, genie which has already been installed in attack attack finder then we save it .sh. so because we are using the bash s dot sh is the name of the bash files you know are saved in dot sh so now we now put the scripts so first thing we need to declare the uh, declare okay this is the script we use this is the line let's copy it okay so this is so now in our script because we are, this script is going to be applied to different files, so we need to create a line inside it that will tell us 
Okay, so this file name suggests that uh, this is a this line of the script is is accepting. This is also going to accept the file. You know, then this is the function that we want to carry it out. Carry once carried out on the file. Okay, so our script has been simply you know carried out. Now we need to look for the file. Okay, so this is the attack finder. This is the file we just created with the script inside it. Then we have to uh, so all these things I'm doing is what we're going to be discussing. You know, we're going to be showing you how to understand the Python fundamentals, bash fundamentals, you know, Linux. All this is what we're going to be doing in the one-on-one -on -one coaching so that you can also know how to do it properly. So we're going to change and make this file now a function that can be executed. Now that we have the file inside, it's now the script. So we have the script here now. So we can use this script to analyze any file. In this case, we want to analyze the auth.log simple so instead of you know typing out the command every time or forgetting the script sometimes it's possible that you may not remember something may cause a distraction and you need to quickly carry out some analysis because you have saved the script you have created an automation tool this file is now is an application is a tool that you can just pull it up and apply it so let's look for another file another log file if we look Remember, so uh, just change the file name, make carries as analysis, and I can always go back and modify, uh, modify what the file is doing. Here we treated only 20, the first 20, so this analysis was carried out only on the first 20 failed attempts, so we can increase it to 100 so that we have more. Or let's say 500 so that we can have more uh, the richer content. So let's apply it again. Let's see. You can see now. Now we have more because we have increased the number. So this is simple script that we've just created. And then we can also apply the script for text. So Okay, so we have a text file here. So inside this text file, there are a lot of information. I can see YouTube. I can see Instagram. Uh, I want to search the number of times those texts. We can search a text and find out if if it if a particular file contains a particular text. So, so let's create text finder. Mm, sh so let's create another one here. Do the same file name. File name equals to this. So all this is what we're going to be explaining one by one or one on one in the coaching class. Text name. So basically what we're saying is that this file name is the name of the file we are we want to search text name is the text we are searching for inside so what this simple script will do is that if you search inside this file for this text bash here okay so let's run it again and voila so here it is brought out our text so in the entire index.html file it brought out where we have html and we can also modify this file to we had this command this flag to iphone c it will count for us to provide some kind of counting effect let's see 
Okay, so it tells us that in the entire file, YouTube happened or caused two times. Let's look for uh, another word that we can inside it. Let's see, HTTP. Uh, HTTP appeared in the text 60 times. And these scripts have helped us to be able to search for anything we want to search for. We can modify the script. And you see how simple the script is. It's just one, two, three, four lines. And this tool, this that you just, this is an amazing tool. You cannot tell, it can save you countless number of hours. Two lines, and we can modify it to, to suit what you need. And these are the things we are going to be looking at. In the one on coach, you want to learn how to write this script, how to modify it to, you know, to do some other bigger task. That is all going to be found in the one on one coaching. So you can use this script in your organization to monitor logs, you know, to monitor security threats in your organization. So it's free to use. You can use this script to analyze, you can modify it and use it to analyze text. Maybe you have a, a large document that contains several words, you are looking for particular words every day in your script, in your text. You can input this file into this script and then it will search the text and give you an 